Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams, remember the name. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to Ross we go. It's been about two weeks since we've been to this Ross. So, fingers crossed for some good luck finds. Let's go check it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They finally stocked up the shelves a little bit at least. But all these shoes, and the only possibility I'm looking at right now is these guys, which are Derek Rose Lethality. Cool thing about these is this guy right here, which I think means they're like a special Chinese New Year edition. And ironically enough, type this code in on eBay and nothing pops up. So instead I went to eBay and I just typed in D Rose Lethality and some different colorways showed up, but none of them were this special Chinese New Year edition, which I assume usually the special editions like the Chinese New Year ones sell for more. The other colorways that were on eBay, there wasn't a bunch of them, but they were all selling for I think at least 100 and up. So considering these are $22.99 and they're size seven and a half, which isn't the greatest size in the world, but not too, too small, and definitely not too big. I think we'll definitely go ahead and grab these dudes and uh, do a little more investigation once we get back to the crib. Many, many minutes later. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm clearly back in my place. The investigation about these dudes is well underway. I've done some research and uh, so far I've come to this conclusion. Officer, I got one question for you. What are those? Yeah, so as far as these dudes are concerned, I'm still basically at square one. Still not exactly sure what they are, other than Adidas, Derrick Rose, Lethality, and like I said, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure there's some type of Chinese New Year's special edition because of this little logo on the tongue of the shoe right here. Other than that, I don't know too much, clearly. So uh, that is where I'm hoping you guys can help me out at least a little bit. From the research I did do, it looks like these Adidas Derrick Rose lethalities are somewhat on the lower end as far as Derrick Rose's signature shoes go with Adidas. But I think I may have somehow stumbled into a very rare pair of kicks, or at least it appears that way as of now, because so far I've looked these up on eBay, GOAT, StockX, and just my good old pal Google in general. And so far, I found a whole lot of this. Goose egg, nada. Can't find anything about these. I found some stuff from some somewhat sketchy looking websites in different languages, and uh, couldn't really figure out a price from those though. I did find some pictures that looked similar. And as you guys can see right here, once again on the eBay app, there are some listings for the Adidas D-Rose Lethalities, but they're in completely different colorways. There's only a couple of them, and like I mentioned earlier on in the video, they're all listed right around 100 bucks. But even those ones, just the basic colorways, I can't really seem to find those anywhere either. Whether it be the Adidas website, GOAT, StockX, Mercari, whatever. If they are on a website, all of them say they're out of stock. They don't show what the price is, so I have no idea what the retail on these guys was to begin with, especially the Chinese New Year ones, which means I found myself in a little bit of a pickle. And not just any pickle, not like a tiny pickle, more like a jar of pickles, like this guy right here. Which, uh, I'm gonna keep real. I love pickles, these look delicious. So right after I wrap up this video, I'm definitely digging into these bad boys, but that is a different story for a different time. For now, back to the D-Rose Lethality Chinese New Year investigation. If you guys are watching this and you resell shoes on eBay, Mercari, Goat, StockX, whatever, have you ever ran into a situation like this one where you found a pair of kicks, can't really find too much information on them, you're not exactly sure what they are, you don't know what the retail price is, which most likely means, if you're like me, you basically have no idea how much cheddar cheese to list them for on eBay. That is uh, my dilemma right now, or shall I say, my pickle. Don't worry, I'll get you guys in a second. Anyhow, 
Yeah, oh uh, man. I've been reselling shoes now for quite a while, at least like six months, maybe longer than that. I've come across quite a few different pairs in my day, my reselling days, that I have not been able to find too much information about, but none of those have been, I'd say even remotely close to the lack of information that I can find about these guys. The reason I was intrigued to begin with is because I always look out for this little Chinese New Year logo because like I said a couple times in this video I think, this Chinese special New Year's edition sneakers usually are rare, which means they usually sell for quite a bit more than the regular colorways would. So uh, that's what caught my attention. The other thing that caught my attention was this guy, $22.99. Can't go wrong with that price. Not too much risk involved. And I would say anyways, there's pretty much no risk involved unless you lose your receipts. And then you could definitely be out some money. But as long as you uh, keep everything organized, keep your receipts in one place, keep the shoes the way you bought them, you can always return them. So enough about that. Now, at this point, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. To be honest, though, it's not the worst problem in the world to have. These shoes do look clean. I looked them over real quick in the store and I looked them over even better once I got home. They look brand new, not a spot on them, no scuffs. The bottoms look brand new. All right, Mr. Predator, I'm gonna need you to uh, slide over a little bit, all right? You're hogging the camera, bro, hogging the camera. Calm down, it'll be your turn soon. And real quick, since I didn't show them off too well in the store, here's a much better view from a much better angle. Side view, huh, 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 yeah. Front action. Other side. Yeah, you guys digging it? Inside. And last, but not least, well, kind of last, is the back. And the real last is uh, inside, which looks something like that. Boom, 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 boom. And then once again, the Chinese New Year symbol right about there. And then uh, last for real the time is the bottom of the shoes. They look super new, super clean, and to be honest, I'm definitely digging the design right here. So that is a wrap for these, at least for now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna list them obviously, but I have no idea what I'm gonna list them at. I'll probably, to be honest, list them pretty high, see if we get any bites, see how many views we get, see how many watches we get, and then uh, lower the price accordingly. How high? I have no idea, because like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm working with. I don't even have a very good idea of what I'm working with. I'm pretty much going in blind, but the best way to approach that, in my experience, is, sorry, Mr. Predator's trying to be selfish and hog up the whole screen again, but yeah, I think the best way to approach it is start high and then adjust your price accordingly, so, I don't know, I'm just swinging in the dark here. Maybe I'll list them at like 200. And who knows, maybe they'll sell super quick and they could possibly be a lot rarer pair of sneakers than I think they are. But uh, I don't know, man. There's so many unknown variables, just so many unknowns in general. I'm listed in the dark, man. I don't know what to do. So if you guys, like I said, resell shoes, whether it be on Mercari, eBay, it doesn't really matter, whatever app. If you have experience and you've run into a situation similar to this one, please do me a favor and throw some advice my way because clearly, as you can tell, I don't know exactly what to do other than, like I said, list them high, adjust the price accordingly, and go from there. But at the end of the day, no worries. There's a lot worse problems to have in life than not knowing what price point to list some sneakers at. So somehow, some way, I'll live with it. Life will go on, can't stop, won't stop. So that's a wrap for the video. I honestly plan on making this one quite a bit longer, including quite a few more stops at some other Ross stores. But I was so curious, so intrigued by that pair of sneakers. I had to come home, try and do a little bit more research. And uh, I honestly thought I'd find a lot more than I did. But sometimes, honestly, in life, unknown is exciting. So that's kind of what I'm working with right now. But please, like I said, if you got any advice, please drop it in the comments below. If not, it's all good, no worries. Either way, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy the rest of your night, stay sane, stay safe, and as always, stay limitless. The real question is what are those?
Take a shot, you've got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on a speed Those knots, they got you, are only make-believe Those 